And this, if I come to you, I mean, you talk about a basic seed. A seed is planted. It then takes time to flourish and flower, indeed. And I think, you know, Asma Siddiqui Saiba's friends asking this thing, well, the Mahdi has come, and one of the predicted things was Islam would be dominant, and it hasn't happened. Um, we've heard the response from Azhar Saab, of course, which is about time and the comparative to the first uh, Messiah. Tariq, but uh, thank you um, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, but before I do that, uh, let me uh, propose an amendment in the question. The question says, well, I mean, see, why Islam has not thing, flourished and become the most powerful religion in the world? Islam was and has been and is the most powerful religion of the world. Where is the power? Mm. Power is in this holy book, the Holy Quran. It's a power of beauty, power of argument. So Islam has never declined. Mm -hmm. It is the Muslims who have declined. So we, we should not say that Islam was powerful and then it declined. It never declined. It is the Muslims. So Islam is uh, the most powerful religion, and the power is in the, in the argument uh, in its favor, given by the Holy Quran. The power is uh, in the beauty of the character of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the beautiful example, Uswai Hasana, uh, he has set. Now, I will tackle it from a different angle. Before the coming of Hazim Sima Wasallam, if you see the world, um, a major portion of the world was under British or French or uh, Spanish colonies. And uh, under their cover, the Christian missionaries have gone. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to West and East Africa and read their history and, and, and talk to the people, they will confirm that uh, because of uh, uh, missionary schools or because of missionary hospitals and clinics, uh, the Christian missionaries were attacking Muslims and, and converting them. And we can quote a lot of Muslim, uh, Christian, um, so-called evangelists mm -hmm. at that time that uh, Africa is already under our feet. And the next is India. And then the banner of uh, Trinity uh, will be taken to Mecca. That, that was, they that, were professing that this was, quite that openly. was their desire and that was their master plan mm -hmm. and uh, they were very aggressively. Yeah. If you see the senses, how in 100 years m Muslim divines mm -hmm. and Muslim, uh, uh, those who went to schools and those who uh, learned uh, sciences in their schools, they were converting to Christianity. Mm -hmm. There was only one person and there was only one Jamaat who was defending Islam. And that was Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Af Qadiyan and uh, the Ahmadiyya Jamaat. So a lot of people do not know what has happened. This onslaught has been stopped. And in, in the whole Indian subcontinent, if there was a debate, they say, write a letter to Qadiyan because only Ahmadis can defend Islam. And that was Islam. being recognized by that all being the recognized. Muslim divines as Even well. today. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in the recent past, some uh, mullahs have uh, mm -hmm. confirmed this on television mm -hmm. that only Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadiyan knew yes. Bible and uh, he, he could stop them. Yes. So, first of all, uh, he, 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 he defended Islam from all these attacks and uh, then started missions in early 20s in, in West Africa and then in East Africa opening schools. If Ahmadis would have not opened schools, the whole Muslim uh, population had only two options. Either to go to mystery schools and get converted to Christianity or remain uh, ignorant. So no education or become a Christian? There was only was one no community. That the Arabs have gone in, in the 60s and 70s and we were there in 20s. And we gave them this courage and we gave them this identity that we are Muslim and, and we have to remain Muslim. So this is number one. And uh, number two, those people who have accepted Imam Mahdi, they are most powerful. And how From do you one define person, power though? I mean, that, that's the, the, the crux power, of it. Power of their Iman, their faith, power of their 
their confidence in, in the truth of Islam. Mm -hmm. Now you take Ahmadiyya community. Hazrat Ahmad 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 from a small community of a few hundred thousands, now we are tens of millions. Across the world. About 175 yeah. millions all over the world. Mm -hmm. And this is a community which is uh, a powerful community in that sense, that they are united. They have one Khalifa, one leader. The beautiful system of Khilafat has been established. And a lot of Muslims have tried and a lot of Muslims are saying today that if there is no Khilafat, there will be no progress. So we are the people who are the powerful Muslims. So Imam Mahdi has come, and if you don't join us, how, how, how can yeah, we get the benefit yeah, of indeed, it? Indeed, you're going to lo lose out. I think, uh, Jazakallah Mahdi Sahib, Asma Sahib, I hope your friend has uh, received a satisfactory response in quite the detailed responses we have had. But if she has further questions, do email in.